Health experts gathered in Washington today to talk strategy in the battle against sepsis. Sepsis kills more than 250,000 Americans every year, making it the third leading cause of death behind heart disease and cancer. Vanita Nair has one family story. When 12-year-old Rory Staunton died, his parents, Kieran and Orla, had no idea what happened. Rory had been a healthy kid until he got injured in gym class. So what happened at school? He fell and scraped his arm, uh, dump, you know, jumping for a ball. About 24 hours later, he, um, he started feeling sick. His parents took him to the hospital where he was misdiagnosed with the flu. Three days later, Rory died. Our son was dead before we heard the word sepsis. Sepsis is a condition triggered by an infection entering a person's bloodstream, in Rory's case, after he scraped his arm. The immune system has an overly aggressive response that can lead to organ failure. Tough. Today, the Stauntons held a national symposium on sepsis. They've already helped change the law for New York hospitals, where doctors are now required to use a checklist to rule out the condition. At the North Shore LIJ Health System, the rate of sepsis has dropped by roughly 50 percent. Dr. Martin Dorfler is the associate chief medical officer. It can move quite quickly. The data says that from the point of recognition, every hour delay increases the risk of mortality. And that's really why we need to be as aggressive as we are. Does knowing how these regulations have helped other people, does it make it any easier? Now, burying your child, then we'll never have an easy day again. What I think makes us very angry is that Rory could have been saved. Oh. The Stauntons say their greatest regret is not knowing about sepsis. Now their mission is to make sure other families do. Vanita Nair, CBS News, Washington, D.C.